Hey, what's up, guys? Before we got the video started, I just wanted to show you guys real quick our merch store we have now. It's teespring.com forward slash stores forward slash buck nation hyphen gaming hyphen merch. We'll also have that link down in the description below so you can go check it out. Definitely go through here and check out our awesome uh, apparel that we're starting to get out, and we are expanding daily on this stuff. So go give it a check out, guys. I'm definitely going to order me some stuff. Hope you enjoy the stuff that we add to the apparel store, and I hope you enjoy the content. What's up guys, welcome back to another Ark Survival Evolved video and the part 2 video to our, um, what's now going to be our uh, raid base uh, for the server when we get it completed. But also a how to build a toxic honeycomb uh, base that, that is well um, easier to defend with turrets because they're going to have to go through so much um other than just turrets with the honeycomb. I am Buck Nation Gaming, and uh, I'm ready to get into this build, guys. I actually started, you know, doing a little bit of the honeycomb. I did the, the mid layer, and I'm going to show that to you. The reason why I went ahead and done it off camera is because I really wanted to show you the point of it and not make you sit there and look through just countless times of me just putting honeycomb in. So here's our open area, and along with these other parts through here, um, I did put some of these down. Let me get rid of those. Sorry, I thought I got rid of all those. I'm not going to use catwalks. I thought I was, but I ended up turning that idea down. And then you'll have to, you know, make this loop to get back through here. Each one of these are going to be where our generators are for each turret tower, just to get those up and going as stable as possible. One of the first things I wanted to do was make what I call the cryopod room. If, uh... I was going to have this as a base location for, like, or this base as uh, my personal base. Not base location. I would do this number right here. And, you know, if, if they're going to get in, they're going to get in. So, you know, you don't want to make it too much. I think that ladder's backwards. It is. Let's try that again. Um, you don't want to make it too hectic to where you can't get into it. Is it really not going to let me place that? Let me try to go on this side and see if that makes a difference. Oh, I think it does. Um, yeah. Yeah, there we go. So what I would do is make this my cryopod room. Um, great don't have any can make some there we go boom and sweet got a little nice cryopod room to put or cryo fridge room I should say with your refrigerator and a generator that's the main things I would stick up here um, let's see here let's throw down All right, let's just type it in up here. All right, let's see. There we go. We'll get four fridges. Probably won't use 15, but I figured why not. Might as well make it look decent. Throw one of those there. I like to keep mine pretty much together. Um, throw that one there. Third one there. Perfect. And like I said, I would probably put my refrigerator right there. But you want to get the refrigerator to where it's not going to block the cryo fridges. We'll get a couple more of those for later. They don't stack. Uh, yeah, it's going to block it there. I should have put this up against the wall. 
and the cryo fridges to the right. Yeah, let's do that. Um, let's. Oh, it was gonna let me do it. I wasn't fast enough. And that was the first one that I put down. So let's go back to. Okay, I wanted to make sure that that wasn't going to be through the wall. Of course, I need more. Okay. So we could do one there. Um. I don't want to block that one fully in to where you can't get to it, and I did. See, I can get to it right there, so that's not going to work there. Alright, we'll put them along these corners. No big deal. One there. One there. So that'll give you your cryos. And I think if I'm not mistaken, I think, uh, hmm, I don't know, where could I, yeah, it's going to be too large to put up here. So we'll have to move the Jenny, which that's fine. Actually, we don't have to put a Jenny up there. We, we'll have all these. Forgot all about that. They're definitely going to be within range. You'll see by the time we get them all up and running. I have my other admin on the server working on bringing me some element. I don't want to have to spawn some in. Jump off screen, go to another page and all that stuff. So she's going to bring me some. Thankfully, she's going to help me out with that. She's uh, basically upkeeping the entire server while I make videos. But it gives me a chance to you know, show you guys some really cool builds and stuff. And I want to take advantage of those opportunities when I get them. So basically, uh, that's what basically motivated me to start this video and the further I got into building um, these structures and recording it and seeing the support that I was getting and people were like yeah man that's pretty good do it do, do more videos I was like well I'm definitely making part two and it'll either stop at part two or continue going I'm not sure yet it just depends um, but yeah so far I think I'm liking where it's going and if you're curious and you're like, well, how are you going to um, get stuff to where, uh, you know, you can access it? Basically, we're going to do this all the way around here. And we'll be setting things on top of these. I don't even mind to do that one like that, to be honest with you. And then that one like that. Yeah, probably... I actually do mind. Now that I did it. This is where we're going to put our um, fabricators and stuff like that on. Obviously anything too large we'll leave outside. Well, probably won't put a fabricator in here. We'll probably make an outside uh, crafting area, basically. But even here, we could basically honeycomb this um, if you wanted to instead of doing the idea I have of using it for my crafting stuff so I don't have to uh, worry about people stealing the stuff that I'm crafting. What I wanted to show you with this is if you go up here. Oh, I didn't mean to go through both. Or not. Well. It won't go in for some reason. There we go. Okay. Let's try that again. So we climb up. And this is an airlock right here. See, right there is the first hatch frame. 
or trap door, there's the second one. That's the third layer that I added in, and now you see it like that. Um, that's the only thing extra that I did off camera. Everything else I'm going to do on camera. So with this being the airlock, we'll now go in and fill all of these in. And this is basically what I did off, uh, you know, off camera, so you didn't have to sit here and watch it through every single layer. I uh, didn't want to beat you up that bad, but I did for the most part want everybody to see how this base got built. Um, like I said, we're going to make it a raiding event on my cluster and. Um, other than that, I wanted you know people that didn't know the effects of honeycomb and how well it works. I can't believe I just stuck that there by accident. Here, we'll get rid of that real quick. Thank you. All right, let's keep on placing down some more ceilings. I just work my way inside when I do this. And there's one layer of oops honeycomb Keep on just placing them all down. And now I guess you can really see why I wanted to speed up through some of that on uh, some of this on the last section that I did, the last tier, however you want to word it. Um, yeah. I had to find them real quick. I was like, where'd they go? And I was like, oh, ran out craft more it's all good all right and you're not going to really want them to go down through this so you don't want to leave this open but obviously we put this up here for a reason so the reason being um, and this is going to go back to the people um, that was basically saying, you know, this would only be used for a solo. So, what I would consider is leaving your juiciest stuff down in the very bottom. And you can also build on top of this and make this more fortified. Um, just what I would suggest is no matter how high up you go, uh, make sure your turret towers go up all the way with you. Now, for the sake of the people on my server, I'm not going to do that that bad to them to where I'm going to make a whole nother layer here. I just wanted to show you guys this method um, with the tech trap door that you can put that there. Have a, a lot of this more open, like all the way through. Uh, basically, here we'll mark some stuff for you. From there, there. Um, there, 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 and there. So you could have that as the open part um, for the rest of your tribe mates to build in. And you still got honeycomb um, going on the outside exterior of it that they would still have to blow into before they would even make it into that part. Um, for this case, I am actually going to take these back down because for the sake of my server of this turning into a raid base I'm about to show you what they're the treatment they're going to get um, I know a lot of them like using those magma sores and they like just melting turrets and, and bases turret towers and bases down with those magma sores but see I know the one key trick to those and that is if you build up let's see how how tall is the, yeah here's the world barrier I don't have to go up that high but uh, like like it's not that high up but we're going all the way up guys so I'm just gonna start one row at a time and uh, I'll fast forward through a lot of this and basically um, go over more with you 
at the end of what this looks like just so I can speed it up and you don't have to sit here and watch me do this over and over again like I said in the previous video I do not use large walls don't like them don't care much for them um, would rather have it this way oh admin just teleported to me all good but uh, other than that guys I will throw a catchy tune on for you guys while I fast forward all this hope you enjoy
Alright guys, so that's going to be as tall as I'm going to make it. I don't think he's going to get his, uh, any of their platforms up high enough to uh, Magmasaur spit that. I was worried about from right here, but I came to the conclusion I'm going to put some turret towers up all along this. So that will prevent them from trying to use that method anyway, at least uh, early on. But we're going to build the rest of these towers. Uh, when it comes back to the video being just focused on the, um, you know, one of the better base builds, that kind of, uh, you know, stopped whenever we completed this row right here. Uh, plus, and we're going to, like, add more things that you can see that, that won't, uh, this right here won't alter whatsoever. But for our raid base, we're basically just going to take the towers only and now go extremely high with them. And then we're going to put some uh, towers, uh, some chandeliers basically right through here uh, to get that nice and um, secure. Put some towers up there and basically we're going to secure all this. But uh, basically wanted to come in and show you guys the remainder of getting this as one of the better base uh, builds that you can get. And just to show you what I would have done with the uh, top layer let me actually grab a few more things personally if you were going to make this your uh, crafting area and you didn't want to put another crafting area because that's what um, I probably would have done I would have probably secured um, yeah probably a decent sized chandelier or not chandelier a decent sized turret tower right here uh maybe some chandeliers hanging off the side possibly and basically had my crafting area connected to this part um probably something along the lines of this to where i would just have to run out here and let's see i don't want to go that far back that way so let's go with this here and let's see if I can't all the way across with that. Basically. Um, sorry, I have OCD. I like when everything's full filled, however you want to word it. Um, Not to get too fancy or anything, but this would be my little crafting area. And uh, you'll see the turret towers and stuff come in. And that one's going to play tricks. It's all good. Nothing that we can't handle. I had it. You saw that I had it, right? Oh, I had it again. Oh, I was there and I moved it. Boom. Got it. Alright, so with that there, what I would basically go and do next is put my repi probably along the lines of there clipping in a little bit but that should be just only into um, honeycomb I shouldn't see it through anything else yeah it's only into honeycomb a little bit it's clipping and I keep running through the wrong doors because it's getting dark yeah so with that set up there uh, you could basically go in next and I would suggest for this thing uh, for this base not the ladder right behind the ladder you're not going to use this area anyway so what I would suggest is doing something like this for your bubble 
that way when you go up here it's not oh it might be inside that cryo fridge yeah let me get down there and pick that up real quick pick up force bill okay You know what, we'll just go the good old fashioned route here. It's no biggie. Well, I need the force bills. I would say. There. That should be a better location for it. It is. So that way you can still get to your fridges. It's not in the way and blocking you from getting back here. Um, and you're using your space as efficiently as possible. You can still allow access to it. So it's not um, being um, blocked where it just says unlocked. And then another thing I wanted to show you was Betty storages. But I think I had some on me already. I did, no biggie. So basically, you can stack two deadies there. Um, I probably wouldn't go out like that, to be honest with you. I'd probably be more interested in... Well, my only concern is can you, yeah, you can reach the top one, so you don't have to worry about that. Oops, wrong button. I figured if I could, oh, they're going to be in the wall like that. So, yeah, just do the cracks. Flipping a little bit, but as long as it lets you access it, I'm not going to complain too much. Alright, so we got some deadies down. Um, another thing I would highly suggest. Throwing that right there above every single one of these. Give them something else they got to go through. Because remember, these are just located right behind the turret towers. And I'm going to show you guys a complete build of the turret towers when we get finished. Um, it's going to take even us with commands um, a while to get that done. As soon as we get it finished, though, I'll show you a finished look of what it came out to be. Uh, basically, without torturing you, making you sit through watching us do every single little bit of it. But um, once you get all that stuff up, it's time to get your... Industrial grinder and industrial forge. Uh, even your cooker, honestly. Might as well have all that stuff. Let's go to the right door. None of these are it. There it is. You can go through either one of these. Make sure I got that walled off all the way. Yep. Just want to double check. Make sure. Um, I would suggest putting... 
this guy. Actually, no, don't put that there. I'd put the bolts there. Um, possibly placing this guy back here to cover this mess up. Yeah, that'd make me not want to jump down in there anymore. So you can stick that there. And you want to be as, like, compact as possible. Um, this thing you're obviously going to want to put just about anywhere you can. Um, that's not too vulnerable, but you don't have to really protect it either. As much as you need to protect the rest of your face. Probably stick that guy there. That's going to be convenient to transfer back and forth to other clustered servers uh, that's clustered in. This guy will probably have to build its own little um, platform real quick. Just put these back there. And I say we build it over here against this wall as well. And if you want to know why I'm building it against the wall, that's so they can't use the grinder to hide behind to soak turrets or avoid turrets even worse even worse so I like to do the normal 2x2 two two. put ramps up walk up to the front of it and put down your forge perfect so now you got the forge up get your transmitter just to make that thing look better let's turn it on replicator cooker now for your grinder hmm probably could have stuck him right here beside the forge to be honest with you yeah I'm liking that idea a lot actually so let's demolish this I think it'll look better anyway. Oh, didn't mean to double jump it like that. Nope, can't do it. Oh, that's why. Check this out. So, uh, might as well make it flush. But if I do that, I'm a sucker for doing this. Yeah, I'm not going to get that technical with those. He's already covered them up. I showed it from the rip there. You'll turn. You'll turn. No. I don't want it to look that way. Let me try to come in from this way and see what happens. Uh, no. Mm -mm. Nope. Oh, I want to clip. Alright, let's try this. Let's clip that one there. Now. Still no. Okay, let's get rid of this, and then we'll replace it. Sorry, guys. That was very, very annoying that I couldn't clip that. Very annoying. So now we'll put one back. There we go. There's that. And now the grinder. I'm just going to catty corner it like that just so it, you know, fills up the space there. And then for the last part of what you basically need to get your base up and going.
put some bolts down. Put a couple Kim benches. And we will be good to go. block it off to where you can't fit in between here. If I had a caddy corner that to make it flush with that you wouldn't have been able to get between there anymore. So yeah that'll work for me there. Oh that's another part I forgot to show you guys. So um, what you would also want to do with these actually I don't want to do it yet. Um, hang on one second. So what you're going to want to do is this. Try something else real quick. No way I'm fitting one in between there. I mean, on here it'll let me, but it's a little bit broken that it will. But since it will let us, we're going to go ahead and do it. And then what you want to do is get to tech ceiling. Boom. Tech ceiling. Boom. It looks like that one actually broke, but I promise you it didn't. Oh, yeah, that's right. Let me get rid of this wall right here. Tech wall. Boom. As soon as we do that, you should be able to move through this one now. Is there another one? Oh, what did I demolish? I don't know what I demolished before. But the vault's still here, so it wasn't the vault. Alright, so once you get that put in with the uh, the vault ceiling dropped you're going to want to put these back on and now they got to bust the vaults to get through that part of the ceiling um, this is two blocks high so you don't want to do that all the way to the bottom because then you can't get into the base but uh, basically what I would suggest is if you do that extra layer um, and you have this inside part as your open base, make sure you have these all the way around and then cap it off, like cover it up so they can't see it. Um, wouldn't be a bad idea to drop two of these in side by side right here as well. Here, we'll go ahead and put two of them there just to kind of show you. Uh, I'm not going to do this to the uh, whole entire base. 
uh, like I said, I don't want to make this thing too overpowered. After a bunch of players on my channel saw um, the video, they got in t contact with me and was like, hey man, you should make that a raid event. So I don't want to make it too overpowerful to where they're not going to be able to bust into it. Um, to where, you know, it's not going to be the same loot in this that you would get out of another raid. And I don't want to make this something just as hard to where they're going to have to raid. But since I did make these vaults, let me go ahead and show you that part too. Um, let's see. I would suggest trying to get, because if it's touching something, you don't break. Let's try one there. both going over just a little bit. I don't know if these are going to drop or not. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, that one dropped down. And so did that one. So now all you would have to do is go in. Don't think I can get that wall back in though. That's the only downfall to this. Mm. But the uh, vaults are going to be more strength than those walls were so I will take that as a win um, and there's the other walls in front of it but you can see if you do that all the way around they'll have to bust in the vaults if they come in uh, through the top and you do that at the top layer as well or the sides um, and that just makes it so you know over um, powered of a base when you have all this stuff that they can't get to you easily uh, and they gotta waste so many resources to get to you but uh, that's gonna wrap up part two of today's video guys I hope you guys enjoyed the video we're definitely gonna show you what it's like when everything gets finished a lot of that stuff I'm gonna do off camera just because it is um, you know kinda boring to sit there and watch that stuff even in fast forward mode you're just gonna skip through it anyways so let me get this stuff finished up and get it finished built with my admin uh, Saving Kate x65 and we will definitely show you the outcome when we get finished. Hope you guys like this video. If you do, smash that like button. Definitely hit subscribe so you can stay tuned for future ARC videos. And always, 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 I hope you guys stay awesome, stay amazing, and we will catch you next episode.